Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, I would like to welcome you for the first time. In this video, what I'm about to do is show you how to rebrand an ebook once you purchase any ebook from plrhustle.com. This will be a step-by-step -step video that's gonna show you how to rebrand the front cover of it, the interior, add delete pages, or whatever you wanna do. It's super simple. So if you purchase any kind of ebook at all from plrhustle.com, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to give your ebook its own look and feel so you can sell it and of course yours would be different and it'll just you know help you stand out from the crowd. But another thing, if you want to keep your ebook as is if you've purchased anything, you can do that as well. So a lot of people feel like they have to rebrand every ebook that they purchase. You know, I've seen people make just as much money not rebranding as those people that do rebrand their ebook. So it's completely up to you, but both ways work. But if you want your ebook to be super unique, I definitely recommend you rebranding it and giving it your own look and feel. So rebranding your ebooks is a very simple process. You'll need two websites that it's canva.com and sejda.com to actually add the ebook cover onto the ebook itself. So whenever you are on Canva, what you want to do is you want to search for ebook. Or you can just click ebook covers and you can just choose a template canva make it very simple for you to just go through and select any kind of template that you want just scroll down i can use this one right here use this template so let me go right here to my downloads it's called meaningful life and this is the ebook cover right now which it has a you know a pretty nice cover and everything, but you know if I want to rebrand it, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So what I will do is I will go over here and just find a photo. I can also put the the meaningful life right there. And of course I'm not really you know, gonna, I can even put my name right there as an author. You know, I'm not trying to create nothing professional, just showing you exactly how to do it. Let's see, they got anything else extra. I believe that's it right there. I can change the colors if I want to. It's already that color, so I don't want to blend it. Or I could just delete that right there and delete image. Find another photo. Let's see, photos. I just had a picture of a road. I can put whatever I want right here. See, I can literally just leave it like that, which, you know, this is a little, a little um, unprofessional right here. Just, But, of course, you could play around with it. Let's see. Change that to black. Put myself right there as the author. You can make your font bigger if you want to. You know, it's, it's completely up to you. I could center it. Do it like that. Just however you want to really do it and play around with it. Now I can leave it like that if I want to. If I want to, I can bold in some of it. You know, just kind of play around. Of course, you could choose whatever photo you want to. You can, you know, put somebody standing right here happy. Whenever you have your ebook cover created and you do it on Canva, or of course you can outsource it to somebody on freelancer.com or fiverr.com, you just go ahead and put it on your desktop or your laptop computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this one. And there we go. The cover's now downloaded. So what I'll do is I'll go to this site right here, the scjda.com. And I'll upload it. I'll upload the ebook it, itself. So let me upload the ebook. 
So as you can see, the ebook is now uploaded. So what you want to do now is you want to delete the original cover and put insert page here. After that, go ahead and upload the, the new image that you went ahead and created. Now, of course, this may not be the proper size starting out, so you might have to play around with it. You got to stretch it. So Canva, for some reason, they I feel like they put them, the cover's too small. See how it's still in the quality like that? It's taking the quality away. But you still got to just stretch it like that. And of course, you can resize it how you want to. See? Just kind of put it in the center like that or however you want to do it. But like I said, Canva, I feel, um, kind of takes the quality away. So you, um, instead of using Canva's original size over here, which is 512 by 800, you can like kind of double that size. So it won't steal your, um, your, your cover quality. So after you are finished with that, you can go ahead and apply changes. And download it so there we go whenever you want to go ahead and download your ebook it's completely ready so the new cover is ready as you can see and like I said Canva kind of steals the quality because they make the ebook covers too too small I feel you know so you'll do 512 times 2 which is 1024 times 1600 so that's how you that's the size you want to put it so times 1600 click copy and resize and what it done is it just doubled the size of the image so whenever you upload a bigger size of course it's going to be better quality so after that's downloaded you are good to go and what's so crazy about this is you can even add your own watermark so you can add extra pages in as well you see this is just the cover right here but what happens when I click add page right here and I start typing like links out so I can just you know put follow on Instagram and put my Instagram link right there or put whatever I want inside of my ebook and I would just download just like you seen me do just now and insert this page as well and at the end of the day you will have a completely rebranded ebook and of course your ebook stands out from the crowd so Right after this cover right here, you can insert another page, another page, just as many pages as you like to go ahead and give your ebook its own unique look and feel. And another great thing you can do is you can remove pages. So if you don't want certain pages within your ebook, you can just delete them. But whenever it's all said and done, you will have a completely rebranded ebook and it will be exactly, of course, how you want it. But thank you for watching this video. I will be making many more deep in-depth videos with when it comes to marketing, rebranding, branding overall, and just the overall how to build your business and sell your eBooks and really blow things out of the water. I'm going I'm to be making a lot more videos for the channel, but thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video.